He will survive the seventh round. <laughs> Fernandez corner. Okay. Don't wait. It's coming. He's trying to set you with the right hand. He's losing some of his zip. But you didn't make him pay a while ago. You understand me? You didn't make him pay. Take a deep breath. Good deep. All right, now you're getting it, baby. He's lost some of his zip now. Combination from the lawn late in round yeah, number like seven. Jab misses. Three jabs. Fernandez counters. And when he turns his back, he backs up. Five, six, and eight, ten punches. An interesting point here, Jimmy. Huh? We see uh, Donnie initiating a lot of the action. And scoring very well. But we're still seeing a, a very game. Benito Fernandez. Not, uh, Donnie's not uh, got a cakewalk there. He's got a lot in your tank. He done knock you down six times. Yeah. Come together. Coming up to round number eight, scheduled for 10 super middleweights, Lalonde against Fernandez. Cam White appears to think that uh, Benito is, is coming back and is gaining a bit of an edge in this fight, but I don't think he is. I can't see that at all. Well, there's really no edge on his part, but uh, he still is very game. And as I mentioned, Donnie is, uh, he's not got things wrapped up yet. There still is a little bit of fight left in Benito Fernandez. Here's a good left jab from the lawn, but Fernandez comes back. Slips a punch very nicely. Lancing right hand. Body shots. Straight right. Fernandez holding on, not wanting to let the Lalonde go. Eighth round scheduled for ten. It's been all along. There's a right to just miss. Left gets in. Fernandez coming back a little. That's exactly what I was mentioning, Jim. Fernandez still has got a little bit of fight in him, and Donnie must be very cautious of that, that fact. He's not in with a beaten man yet. Another right hand from Fernandez. Donnie landed an excellent right hand, and Fernandez countered with a good right hand. That was very surprising. <laughs> Coming up to one minute left in round number eight. A lot of people felt it wouldn't go this far, but Fernandez has shown that he can take a punch, and this has been his best round. He's landed two or three good, solid right hands. This has been a good round for Fernandez. He's uh, started to put a few of his combinations together, and uh, it hasn't been a winning round for him, but he's done very well this round. Lalonde trying to measure and get that the left jab in so he can throw the right, but Fernandez isn't allowing him to do it. This has been by far Fernandez's best round. Of 30 seconds left to go in this, the eighth round scheduled for 10. The homecoming of Donnie Lalonde against Benito Fernandez. Lalonde seems to have slowed down considerably in his attack. Fernandez showing that he can take a punch throughout this fight has had by far his best this in the eighth scheduled for ten. Donnie Lalonde in the gold, Benito Fernandez in the blue. Bit of a moral victory for Benito Fernandez in that round. Well, I'm not sure if there was much of a moral victory. Well, there might have been a moral victory. There wasn't much else of a victory, but he sure did uh, show he had a little bit of heart and desire and, and came back. Uh, I'm kind of glad he did because I happened to mention earlier that Donnie wasn't in with a with a fellow who was beaten, and uh, thanks to Benito, he proved my words correct. Donnie has still got to be very cautious and can't become overconfident with Benito. Donnie still must be very careful. Does he have to have to start doubting himself now at this late in the fight if he hasn't put him away? Does, is there any effect like, uh, like that? No, I wouldn't think Donnie would worry at this point in time. Um, the only question is now would be can he land? enough solid right hands to knock him out. Uh, the question would be, is Benito warmed up now? Were the original knockdowns flash knockdowns because it was cold? Uh, I don't think there's any, there, there are definitely no second guessing himself as to whether or not he's good enough to knock him out or whether he's good enough because he's let him off the hook. 
but he's done very well so far. Round nine, Donnie Lalonde in the gold, Benito Fernandez in the blue. Fernandez with his best round of the night. I'm not saying that he won the last round, but he did land his best punches. Lalonde picking off those Fernandez punches. Right hand just missed. Good left hand, left jab from Fernandez. Another good left from Fernandez. Lamont with his own. in this the ninth round scheduled for 10 super middleweights a good right hand landed by Johnny Long just a perfectly landed right hand caught Benito Fernandez as he was coming in Fernandez Stop. does not know where he is he is really hurt he's stopping the fight the fight is over it was the right hand that started it and the right hand that finished it. It was obvious, Sean, when Fernandez went down in this round, the ninth, that he was in an awful lot of trouble. He was in the neutral corner looking at he. I don't think he realized that he was down. Oh, undoubtedly. He has taken an awful lot of hard shots all night. I was personally surprised with the fact that he kept getting up so many times. He was caught coming in. He was hard, hit very hard. Watch this right hand. Directly right on the button as he came in. I don't think he even saw the punch, and they are the worst punches to be hit with, the ones you don't see. The right hand lands by Donnie Lalonde right there on the forehead, and I don't think he even saw that. They're the worst punches to be hit with, the punches you don't see. Not